Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Are you ready to dig in the bins? I was there, I have an hour of footage. I'm gonna split it up for this video because an hour is just way too long. But if you wanna see the uncut version, that is over on my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel. Okay, so I met Dad Planet up there at 9 a.m. right when they opened. We went in, he jets to the clothing, and I jet to the hard goods. So we source a little differently, guys. So you can watch my video to see what the hard goods were that I picked up, and then go over to his channel and check out the clothing items that he picked up and shoes. So what I want you to do is watch my video, and then I will link Dad Planet's video down in the description of this video. So then head over and watch his video. And after you watch his, come back to my video and let me know in the comments who you think had the better haul. I spent $68 on everything that was in my cart. I found so much stuff. I found a lot of smalls, a lot of bread and butter, but you guys are gonna see how those items that people just leave in the bins add up. Dad Planet spent $22 on his haul. So let's get started here. Okay, here we are right on top. There is this vintage Trapper Keeper. I was hoping that was gonna be a Lisa Frank, but it was not. But I'm wondering now if I probably should have still picked that up. Now, you are going to see me pick up a ton of Lego instruction manuals. Now, I wish all the Legos were there, but I'm unfortunately, they were not. But you can still sell these Lego booklets. A lot of them are going to be bread and butter. I did find one that I think I can get about 20 bucks out of. And I'm gonna show you how I listed all of those here shortly, so stay tuned for that. But what I did is I added up all of the screenshots in this video, and the total I spent was $68 and some change, and when I added everything up, it came close to $900. Now, I was just kind of adding it in my head very quickly, so it was kind of an estimate, but um, almost $900. Some of the items are on auctions. I also take best offers on my items. Uh, so I'm going to say roughly I'm going to make around $800 on this haul once everything sells. It was a fantastic haul, but you're going to see I picked up a ton of bread and butter items. Items that are not going to sell at huge price points, but will add up so i really like to keep a lot of bread and butter in my store so we are going to keep going here and a lot of the items that i pick up are items that were sitting in the bin after the bins had been picked over so don't be discouraged if you get there and there's no new bins out take a look lift everything up look under stuff look for those smalls because they add up and people are looking for them a lot of times you'll find toys that go with sets and people are looking for those toys to replace toys that got broken or lost. All right, so uh, let me know in the comments, would you have picked up the Lego manuals? And if you did, would you have listed them in a lot or would you have sold them individually? Look at all those pieces out of a game. All of the boxes get spilt. All right, so here are the Lego manuals. I'm not going to read them off to you, but you can see they range from around $7 all the way up to $24. Uh, the Lego Elves is the one that is at $24, and that one is a set that's a little bit harder to find, more of a, uh, it's a retired set, and it's a thicker booklet. So that is why that one goes for more, and... I really, really was hoping those Legos were going to be scattered throughout the bin because I would have picked them up. All right, let's see what we got here. Here's another one. That one I think was from Frozen. And one thing to look out for when you're finding those is some uh, Lego sets have book one and book two. And in some cases, I only found book two. So you want to make sure that you mention in the title if it is book one or book two or both. And that way people know exactly what they're getting. So this was a super, super fun trip to the bins. Sometimes you go and everything's like fantastic. 
and you find a whole bunch of stuff and other times you know you just are really trying to find something that you can sell but today on this day it was good lots of smalls lots of fun stuff i have sold one item and we will get to that and it sold for 37 dollars, which i was super super happy with and it sold very very quickly less than a week i think it was like three or four days so i always love a fast sale so if you guys are new here um, my channel is bolo buddies and I teach about bolo items, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell for a nice profit. So be sure to definitely check out some of my other videos. I do a lot of what sold videos and I also feature members of my Facebook group and other things like that to get those big bolos in front of you guys. So check that out. My Facebook group is also Bolo Buddies. I'm also on Instagram and Twitter under Bolo Buddies. So those links are down in the description if you would like to check out any of those um, resources. All right, so we are digging, digging, digging. I had an hour of footage. Actually, I think it was like 53 minutes and I chopped it down to about 25 here. So you're gonna see items in my cart and a lot of those items I put back. So I don't know how you do things at the bins but I fill my cart and when I'm waiting for new bins to come out, a lot of times I will comp stuff and I end up throwing a lot back in. But the first thing I wanna do is get it in my cart because then I know I have the option to buy it. If you leave it in the bin while you're looking it up, it is fair game for somebody else to grab. I did grab that little car. It was, I, it was uh, I think from the 70s or the 80s. It was called the Husky Helper car. It was a Fisher Price car. It'll be a nice bread and butter item. Again, some of these items will be long tail. Some of them will sell quickly. It really just depends on who's looking for what and when they're looking for it and how many items are listed on eBay at that time. I do have most of these items cross posted to Poshmark and Mercari. Um, I always say that items that are saturated on eBay sometimes are not on those smaller platforms. So that's a good reason to cross post. All right, I just dumped all of this out. Unfortunately, that was a complete accident. Um, I did pick up some of the smalls and threw them in my cart. There were some Legos and stuff like that. So right now I'm just kind of looking through um, a new bin. All of these big items, how often do you guys pick up big items? Those were Jamboree. I maybe could have put those in my store, but I, they would have been a couple bucks, you know, so I went ahead and left those behind. I did pick up this, however. Um, it is not, um, it's a weird brand. I can't remember what it was. It was in the screenshot, and I went back this week, and I found another one, and it was Marshall, the other pup, so that was kind of funny. I'm guessing that they, it was just a coincidence. This little bag of toys I grabbed, and I love picking up smalls. I used Google Lens to identify some of those characters because I have never seen them before. But um, there are other miscellaneous items in that bag that I will lot up and put in like a small toy lot or something like that. These are VTech. Um, they have lights and sound. I always pick those up. They're inexpensive and they usually will eventually sell more of a long tail item. This is some kind of sleep aid thing. I don't know. I put that one on Mercari because I just felt like it would do better on that platform. All right. And I do cross post with List Perfectly. If you guys want to check out a demo video, I have one down in the description. If you like what you see and you want to try it, you can use coupon referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word, to get 30% off your first month of List Perfectly. And again, all those links are down in the description. You see there a deck of Uno cards. Anytime I find decks of cards like Uno and there's some other ones, if they are new and sealed, I will pick them up. This Paw Patrol is a Sea Patrol uh, vehicle and it is a little bit harder to find. I am trying an auction on that. If it does not sell, I will relist it with a buy it now or best offer. Um, if you're new to my channel, what I typically do with auctions is I will price them at the price that I hope to get out of the item. So I don't start my auctions at 99 cents. I don't start them at $10. I start them at what I want to get out of the item. And if they don't sell, it's no big deal. I just put it as a buy it now. I do pick up movies if they are sealed. 
Um, like that was a How to Train Your Dragon. I think I pick up Flicka and then a Strawberry Shortcake DVD. They're very lightweight. Uh, they are going to be bread and butter items. Uh, I think eight, nine, ten bucks is what I have on those. And those may do better on Mercari because I'm pretty sure they're probably going to be saturated on eBay. I did put a bunch of sealed VHS in my cart. I was thinking about bundling them and... When I figured out the weight, me and actually one of the other gals that was there shopping that watches my channel, we, uh, she took them over and weighed them. And we decided that by the time, it, it just wasn't worth it. So we went ahead and I passed on them. And then she also decided to pass on them. And, you know, it's just the weight. They're so heavy. I feel like um, if it was something special, it would be worth it. But no. This is a Starbucks uh, glass jar type water bottle. And I saw it and I was really excited. I thought it was going to be really, really good, but it's more of a bread and butter item. And this little um, leapfrog, it's got sound. I put the other red car back. And if you guys saw the shower curtain, that was a vintage shower curtain. Super cool item. I always pick up anything that's mid-century modern. And that item I have up for auction at $34.99. I did have an offer for $17 that I declined. So um, it is already getting some action. So I'm hoping I get at least one bid on that. That was a Safari Dragon. It was a little bit harder to find one. And you guys, this Playmobil set had everything in it. I'm pretty sure it looked completely complete to me. Everything inside was sealed. Um, very, very cool find. I cannot believe nobody else picked that up. Um, I'm hoping to get $20 to $25 for that. So I figured I'd open it up and there'd be missing pieces and stuff would be everywhere. And that's probably what everybody else thought. And that's probably why they didn't grab it. So that was one of my favorite finds of the day. All right, these blocks. I'm going to tell you right now, I passed on the blocks they're giant. They're not like the little blocks I picked up the last time. And then I went back and I put all those blocks in my cart. And then I took all those blocks out of my cart. Like I really wanted to buy them because I think they're a cool item. And I think there ended up being 24 of them. But I was like, I'm going to have to find a box. Shipping is going to be really expensive. And I'm probably only going to get 50 to 60 bucks for them. Maybe if I'm lucky, 75 or 80. I know I did a comp on it and there was one that sold for around 50, but I don't think they had as many blocks. So I do go back later and put them in my cart. They were falling out of my cart and I'm like, what am I doing? So do you guys ever do that? You're like, I want to do it, but I don't. And you go back and forth and put it in your cart, take it out and put it back in and all of that good stuff. I'm guessing for those blocks, I, I definitely would not have paid by the pound. That would have been something that I would have asked for a manager and asked them, how much would you like me to pay for all of these blocks? And more than likely, they're going to just want to get them out of there, and they're probably going to give you a decent price for those. So if you ever find something that's really heavy, you can talk to the manager, and they will typically work with you on those items. Now, I did find another one of those that had um, the pieces inside of it, and I grabbed the whole book, and I brought it home, and the pieces did not match what were in the book, so I threw away the book, or I donated it. I can't remember what I did, but I listed those pieces separately, and I couldn't find the footage of where I picked it up in the video, so those will be at the end of the video. All right, that is a Barney. Of, um, I thought it was vintage, but it actually said 2017 on it. So it is a newer version, but still had decent comps. So I went ahead and picked that up. I did pick up a scarf, you guys. I've got this up for auction. Uh, I, I'm not really sure that anybody's going to bid on it, but it was hand rolled, made in Japan. It was silk. It was in great condition. So by weight... It's $1.79 a pound for clothing and hard goods at my bins. So it was probably, what, a quarter, if that. So definitely a good find. And I probably need to go through this section more. I know Dad Planet does really great. All right, we're going to sneak up on Dad Planet and see what he's finding in his cart. Sneak peek. You have to go watch his video to see what he found. 
All right, so I totally missed the footage where I picked up that cloud, but you could see it in my cart there. I'm hoping that's gonna do well. It has a little spot where it's, um, looks like a bleached spot, but I think it's still gonna do okay. So here I am putting all of these crazy blocks in my cart. You can see how big they are. And again, I took them back out. Would you guys have bought those blocks based on the story I told you earlier? Now those little blocks are definitely blocks I'm gonna put in my cart. Um, they are peekaboo blocks by Fisher Price. And if you watched my last Ben's video, you saw some that I sold really, really quickly. These are vacuum seal um, bags. They're plastic bags. And I went ahead and grabbed those. I will not seal them, but they're like giant Ziploc bags. And I use those to carry stuff around the house from the upstairs to the basement when I'm listing. And those are really great. So I was excited to find those. That was that strawberry shortcake um, little DVD. This is a Victoria's Secret garter belt. It is brand new, perfect condition. And I got that one listed and super lightweight. So a great deal on that. And let's see what else we have here. I got this bark dog toy. I put this one on Mercari only. That one I may have priced a little high, but I could not find an exact match. So I wasn't really sure how to price it. Does anybody know much about dog toys? Um, if they're discontinued, um, I think those are like a, maybe a subscription box. I am not 100% sure. I actually have no idea why I even said that it could be a subscription box. So if you know, let me know in the comments. That was a little uh, Duplo Lego horse trailer, which was a great find. I always pick up Duplo Legos if they are like a vehicle or a figure. Uh, I typically don't pick up the bigger Lego blocks, but I will pick up the specialty items, animals, stuff like that. All right, I thought about getting some of those and making a lot and putting those on Poshmark, and I decided not to do that. Uh, Call of Duty here. This little guy, it actually surprised me. There were quite a few solds. Um, not a lot. Not a lot listed. Not a lot of solds, but the solds that were there had good comps. So I've got that one priced, and I'm hoping to get about $35 out of it. All right, I still need to list that little Mickey Mouse. So those numbers of the items that I haven't listed yet obviously are not included in my totals, and I'm not sure when I will get to them. So um, a lot of times, I, like I said, I put them in small lots. All right, cha-ching, here we go. These sold super fast. They are Magic Math. Um, they're an educational learning tool, Magical Math Machine or something like that. And you push down on it. And when you push down, it discloses the answer to the math problem. I have sold those before. They do come in different brands. They are vintage and they are sought after. And again, I decided to list mine together and they sold very quickly. Those were, I always put cake topper. They're little mini figures. They were the toddler princesses and people will put those on cakes. So cake topper is a great keyword to put in your listing title. This here, I'm wondering if I should have looked up. The reason I didn't look it up is because it was pretty heavy and it probably would have cost me five, maybe six dollars. So I decided to put that back. This little Minnie Mouse was kind of flooded on eBay. So I just put that on Mercari. Um, it's kind of like a weeble wobble. So you knock it over and it stands back up type deal. This is a Connects set. I did grab the manual to list, and I also grabbed the motor. And I didn't grab the motor right now, but I think I'm gonna pop the screen share up. Well, maybe I do that later. But there's a little green motor, and those always sell anywhere from 10 to 15 bucks for me. I always grab these little animals. You saw the tiger, and then I have a giraffe and a cheetah. The cheetah and giraffe were the same brand, so I went ahead and lotted those. I do really well with those animals. Some of them can go for up to $20, $25 if you find the right ones. I showed you the dragon earlier. Um, they do come in different brands like Safari, Schleich. Uh, I'm trying to think. AAA is another brand. Most of the time they are long tail items, but you guys, they don't take up much room and they are super easy to ship. And when somebody comes along to buy it, it's a fantastic little bread and butter sale. So... I do take the time to pick those animals up. 
This is a remote control. Some of these remote controls are highly sought after. If you see them even without the item and it powers on, definitely consider picking those up. There's the Kinex motor I was telling you about. So that remote control goes to, I forget what it goes to, something Jurassic Park. And it's just a bread and butter item. There weren't any other replacements listed. I did see some solds, however, of the actual set. And I think they were going between 30 and $45. This item right here would have been better if it would have had all the pieces. Um, it was missing two of the bugs, but I went ahead and picked it up anyway. That is Elena of Avalar. It's a Jax, um, Jax something. Uh, I can't remember the complete name of the brand, but J-A-K-K-S. And I could not, I only found one other like it. So I'm hoping, and that was with Google Lens. I'm hoping that's actually which character it's from. I think it is, but I don't know. This here I picked up as a personal purchase, but my iPad does not fit in it, and it powers on. I love the color of the keys, so I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with that yet. If I'm going to list it or um, maybe when I upgrade my iPad, hang on to it for that. For now, I'm hanging on to it, but that probably, I don't know what those go for. Let's say maybe another 15, 20 bucks if I decided to sell it. Okay, this is super fun. I found um, this thing and it attaches to my cart. So right here, I'm like testing it to see if it would work. See, it like grabs my cart. I was so excited to find this. I'm not sure if I'll use it at the Goodwill bins, but maybe I can use it somewhere else. Um, even at home or if I'm outside, I can attach it to something and just be hands-free so cool little find there this is a minecraft zombie it is uh like eight inches approximately so it's a bigger guy he's just a bread and butter but um it all adds up right 68 dollars into probably 800 bucks is what i'm gonna make now am i gonna make that tomorrow or in two weeks no probably not that is gonna be over time I think a lot of times uh, people that start reselling, their expectation is that everything sells quickly. And that is definitely not the case. I am a long tail reseller. I will put my, I, I will list them. I will put the items in totes and I forget about them. I just wait until they sell. And that's how I do things. A lot of people, you know, they have like an inventory system where after it's been in their uh, store for so long they get rid of it let me know in the comments what you guys do cross stitch kit always pick those up they're lightweight if I I mean I probably had a dollar or so in that and I didn't even comp it because it's gonna at least be a bread and butter item this guy I couldn't find I don't think I could find another one like it I've never seen one with that little thing coming out of it it's back so I've got that up for auction and I'm hoping that's gonna be like a harder to find piece. Maybe, maybe not, um, but either way, I will list that one individually. Those little people, I found four of them. They range from vintage to now and I went ahead and lauded those. All right, that was a Sony Walkman. If it would have worked, I probably could have got between 30 and $40 for it. It was a harder to find color, but it did have some scratches on it but I could not get that thing to power up. This also, the battery compartment was completely corroded. The good news is the cartridge, I was able to list that individually and hopefully I'll be able to make my money back on that item. Elastic laces, anybody ever seen those? Um, it was a item that was new, so I went ahead and grabbed it. I do pick up any Legos that I find. I put those to the side until I have a lot and then I will list those as replacements. This is a super, super cool find that everybody just left behind. It is an ephemera item, and they're from 1961. I have got those up for auction at $49.99. My guess is they will not sell. I am going to put them at a buy it now or best offer. I will increase the price, and I will wait for the right buyer on those. Those will probably be a long tail item because it's gonna have to be somebody that's interested in that um, subject matter, horse races from the 1960s. I did grab this. Uh, some vintage pantyhose can be a big money bolo. Those are just a bread and butter item, but I thought the graphics, the advertising on the front was pretty cool. Um, that looked, was that, was that Farrah Fawcett? I'm not, I'm not sure. 
Uh, this looks like somebody was digging in the clothing and they found a bunch of vintage lingerie and dumped it right here for me to look through. I did not end up getting any of it because of the condition, but you guys, vintage lingerie can definitely be a home run. So if you see these items and they are in good condition, definitely consider looking them up. Maybe I should have grabbed these. I'm not 100% sure. I They had some yellowing and stuff like that. So let me know in the comments, would you have grabbed the vintage clothing? All right, I'm going to show you a few items I picked up that somehow I missed during the footage. I probably cut it out. You can probably check it out on my sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel on in the uncut version, which will be posted probably in the next two or three days. So I will get that up. These I put on auction because I wasn't really sure. And um, we'll just see if I get any bids. If not, I'll put it on a buy it now. And again, everyone, please head over to Dad Planet's video and check him out, sub him up, and we will be doing more collabs like this in the future. Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.